defending an SC24 can be harsh, difficult, brutal or just devastating. It's hard to stay close to your opponent and when you do, every misstep can easily be punished. But we are here to fix this. I'm Benjamin, a former pro player and I will explain why defending is as hard in FC24 and how you can fix your mistakes. And don't worry, you are not alone. I also had to learn it the hard way and I conceded some goals which made me look quite foolish. At the end of the video I will give you one adjustment I made to help me to defend better so make sure to watch the video till the end. So one major problem of defending in FC24 is that you cannot recover as easily when you move out too aggressively. For years this was my style of defending. Move out and put pressure on the opponent, set a trap here and there and always push your opponent on the edge and force mistakes. But in FC24 this style of defending can lead you in big trouble. Let's start with moving out of position when the opponent is still in his build up. First off, it's important that you understand that every player in your team has a position and role to contribute to your defensive stability. Moving out of this position leaves gaps and this can lead to trouble real quick. If you're not able to put enough pressure on the opponent when moving out, he can play a pass and use the open up space. For example here, instead of using my central midfielder, I switch to my center back to quickly pressure the opponent. He can avoid this easily and also use the space to play a lob ball to his striker. At the end, one of my two center backs is missing, which makes defending this one versus two extremely difficult. So now in FC24, it's key that you are more inclined to rather hold your position, control a certain area and make sure that you don't tear your own defense apart. Keeping defensive shape is key. And this brings me to the next point. It's not only key to not move out too aggressively when the opponent is in the midfield building up, but also when he gets closer to the area around your box. In the past, my initial response was to select a defender and move out a bit, confronting the attacker. But now in FC24, this is a big mistake. It's not as easy anymore to get contact with the attacker and hinder his dribbling. He can easily fly past you and take your defensive line apart. This example shows my typical habit quite well. Twice I select a defender and my initial action is to move up a bit. And you can see how easily he gets around me twice. This wasn't as easy in earlier FIFAs. After failing like this a few times, I recognize that I cannot confront the attacker as much, especially when he has as much momentum going forward. This is crucial to understand. When he's already dribbling towards our own goal, it's easy for him to use his pace advantage to get around the defenders. So when this is the case, you have to keep your defender in a rather safe position to not overcommit. You shouldn't move towards him. That way you have enough distance to react to his direction changes. Now the opponent has to slow down, change direction and shift his play a bit. When this is happening, now is the time to close down the gap. Remember, when he's going forward, keep your distance. But when he slows down, you can get closer. I had to identify a lot of mistakes that I make to understand what is required to defend better. If you struggle with doing this on your own, I want to point out that we also offer private one-on-one -on -one coaching. The best and most effective way to spot your mistakes and work on them. You can book your session with an experienced coach by clicking the icon in the top right corner or the link in the video description. An essential function to keep your position is jockey. You jockey with the L2 or LT button and with this your player goes into a defensive stance which allows you to move him around more responsively. And while jockey was always clutch for defending in the last couple of years playing FIFA, there are two major takeaways for jockey. One, fast jockey isn't as good anymore. Before it was basically a cheat code for defending. You press L2 plus R2 or LT plus RT and now you move around very fast but still super responsive. In FC24 it's very easy to get caught in the wrong position while using fast jockey and not being able to change direction as fast. So fast jockey isn't the answer anymore, especially for situations in your box. And this brings us to the second takeaway. Hit the jockey button early, earlier than you used to do. In FC24 it's very easy to get caught with your pants down. And this is the case when you don't use jockey and move in the wrong direction. Here I think the opponent will sprint into the open space so I want to cover that area. But he changes direction and goes to the lower side. This is me with my pants down. As you can see I have no chance to recover from my wrong anticipation and I get lucky to not concede here. So instead you have to use jockey really early. Here I see the opponent charging into the box. As soon as I realize that he will change direction, I use jockey to get in a proper position to receive the opponent and win the ball. Using jockey early helped me to get in a good position to defend the opponent inside the box. But unfortunately, jockey alone is not a magic button. This overcommitting in one direction 
based on a hunch, just a feeling that he will go that way, is a recurring theme when it comes to defending an FC24. And Jockey doesn't solve this problem. Even when using Jockey it's easy to overcommit in one direction and then you won't be able to recover from this anymore. Jockey or not doesn't matter. Overall it's required to anticipate or gamble less but rather play it safe and hold your position. In this situation for example I face up early on with Jockey but not overcommit in one direction. I stay in front of the opponent and as soon as I realize he will try to play a through ball I move back to cover the area. To make defending even harder, even the perfect position might not be enough. In FC24 the frequency of auto tackles is reduced. Auto tackles are tackles that happen automatically, so without you pressing the tackle button, just because the ball is very close to your defender. The higher the standing tackle attribute of your player, the more likely an auto tackle will happen. These kinds of tackles were a very safe way to win the ball. You didn't need to take the risk to manual tackle, but just focus on good positioning and you were able to resolve quite a lot of situations. But in FC24, the overall range for auto tackles seems noticeably reduced. So in a lot of situations, when the ball is very close to a defender, the defender won't automatically tackle the ball. This can lead to very awkward situations. For example here, I perfectly anticipate the direction change of the opponent, but I was used to getting an auto tackle, so I didn't tackle manually. And this backfired, because nothing happened and I just moved out of the way. So in FC24 you should be more inclined to tackle more proactively in those situations. When in doubt, you should tackle for the ball even when the opponent is more or less running straight into you. Overall decisive tackling seems worth it. There are a lot of situations inside the box when it's right on the edge and going for a decisive tackle is the best way to resolve the situation and win the ball immediately. It's important that you identify the spots when the opponent isn't close to the ball and cannot move the ball away or change direction when you tackle. If you follow this principle, you won't concede that many penalties. But well, you still won't be immune to this. We should also talk about defending the wing. Right now, the way to go for many players is to attack the goal line. Everybody is eager to break through on the goal line and score some easy cutbacks. So when you're face up in a spot like this, follow the tips we explained so far. So using jockey, get in a proper position, wait for a good moment to tackle. But overall, when it comes to handling this, we advise to prioritize defending the goal line a bit more. Additionally, to fortify the area in front of your goal even more, you can use partial team press in those situations. Press the R1 slash RB button twice and hold it. This activates partial team press. Now two teammates will start to tightly mark the opponent's players which can help to prevent those easy cutback goals. So almost 8 minutes into the video and you're wondering that I haven't mentioned advanced defending yet. Oh, you haven't heard about advanced defending? Advanced defending is a new option in the controller settings. Tactical defending is the old default setting which contextually decides what happens when you press circle or B. Most often it will be a tackle, but sometimes it can also be a shove of the body or pulling on the opponent's player. With advanced defending, these defending actions are now separated. Circle slash B is solely for standing tackles, while with X slash A you do shoulder challenges, seal outs, etc. So all those physical challenges. Now the question is, should you use advanced defending? I think it's a good time to point out that at the guide plus you not only get an answer to that question, but also further tips on how to learn and start using advanced defending. We are creating a course which is teaching you everything that's relevant for advanced defending, alongside with a wide variety of other topics like attacking, trading, etc. So when you're interested in that, click the icon in the top right corner or the link in the video description, because everybody can access the first lesson of the course for free. Coming back to the original question. Advanced defending is superior. Your shoulder challenges are stronger and more effective. And you also get another tool to put pressure on your opponent, especially inside the box. See, you can use the X slash A button to dispossess the opponent from the ball without being as heavily committed with a tackle. So this is the adjustment I made that I mentioned in the beginning which helped me to be better in defending. But advanced defending might not be the best option for everybody. It adds another decision layer to your defense. When do you tackle? When do you go for a physical challenge? If you find defending already complicated enough and struggle to keep up with all the options, I would advise you to stick with tactical defending. But I just want to also provide you with one thought that I recently had. It's quite unlikely that EA will remove advanced defending anytime soon. It will be here for at least some years. And it's clearly the better option. Maybe exactly now is the right time to get started with it and benefit from learning it for the upcoming years. You don't want to be late to the party, don't you? 
Ah, talking about parties. In the video that you click on the screen right now, we teach you some really cool party tricks. The new skill moves in RC24. I bet you can impress quite a lot of people with the new flare nutmegs or the ball roll drag. Um, anyways, this is it from my side. Thanks for your attention. Keep a clean sheet. I'm out.